I think it's just never quitting, believing in our, each other, believing in our coaches. The way that we practice, the way that we do, go about our meetings, it's, they're the best. Everybody on this team is the best. You know, the defense was awesome. Special teams is great. Offense allowed did a great job. Skill players made plays when we need them. Offensively, we need to put some more points on the board, but at the end of the day, you got the win. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right, we haven't did a rookie profile in a hot minute, so I decided to do one on Tommy DeVito, quarterback out of Illinois. Went undrafted and signed by the Giants. He stands 6'1", 206, ran a 471. Prospect notes. The film showed that he was willing to run, gets rid of the ball quickly, and willing to throw deep. The negatives. He's not a player that sticks out. Not uber athletic, not a high rushing rate, although it's up way more than what he did in college. And I like my quarterbacks 6'2", and he's only 6'1". And not to mention, no draft capital. Draft capital is everything when it comes to quarterbacks to me. The higher the draft capital, the more the organization is willing to handle you with kid gloves. And quarterbacks need cultivation. Badges. DeVito managed to earn my Steady Progress Badge, which means he has a better adaptability than most and can get better over time. I also like that he have over 10 inch hands. That's a plus for the quarterback position. Fantasy Football Outlook. I looked at DeVito as a long, long, long shot prospect. I don't know what it is about this NFL season, but there has been so many rookie quarterbacks getting opportunities to start. It's honestly very surprising. If I would have made this profile before the season started, I would have said he wouldn't see the light of day on the depth chart. And it's not like DeVito is just killing it, but he's not horrible. And his PFF grade is better than all but two of all the other rookie quarterbacks this year. DeVito is a usable QB in Superflex leagues, although you may want to sit him whenever he plays against good defenses. Of course, I wouldn't roster him whatsoever in a 1QB league, whether redraft or dynasty, but in Superflex leagues, he should be 100% rostered. Maybe there's a universe where DeVito starts looking better than Daniel Jones down the stretch. And it's a quarterback controversy during the offseason. I doubt it, but you never know.